Hello guys, welcome back to Bobby's Diary. Welcome back to today's video. Thank you for all the love and support as usual. Please, before you continue, just give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share with your family and friends, and do all the good stuff we usually do on this channel. So, it's going to be a very quick one. If you have been an avid follower of this vlog or of this channel, you must have or you would know by now that i recently relocated to abuja from lagos leaving my husband and two children literally my family i left everybody in lagos and i carried my bag and came to abuja on work related issues not a month to be honest with you so yeah i'm in abuja and i've been in abuja since january of this year and by the time I post this video, I must have spent at least six months in Abuja doing my work. And I know a lot of people have reached out to me personally to say, Oh my God, you're so strong, you're so this, it's so beautiful. How do you do all of these beautiful things? I mean, you have uh, your family, your husband, your kids in school. And to put it in more context, I have a four-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter, right? So a lot of people say, oh, so you have all, all these beautiful things going on for you in Lagos. How were you able to, you know, leave all of these things, pick up your bags and relocate to Abuja because of work? Okay, so I'm here to tell you guys the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> When I left Lagos in January of this year, I did not understand or fully envisage the weight or heaviness of this decision I was getting into. Right? I just figured that oh, okay, doesn't it's not so much of a big deal. I got a new job. The location is Abuja. I'm moving to Abuja, and we will just find a way. Of of course, I had that conversation with my. Out. my family has been totally supportive of my decision to move to Abuja my husband has been extremely supportive he has had to he has had to step in and is a new front for us because we have never lived apart for our five years of my other thing I must say to really tell you is you know I have, I have very supportive family with me my mom has always been with me so it's no news if you're on this channel it's no news to you that my mom has always been with me and of course I have helps here and there that you know are always available and that's why this is even working but beyond all the operational part of it the emotional I, I think I was focused majorly on the operational part of it oh how is it going to work who's going to step in what are we going to do concerning their school how are we going to ensure that the home front, front is still running so I we were able to prepare ourselves for the operational part of the family life how all of that was going to function what i'll speak for myself what i did not avert my mind to really was the emotional part of it and perhaps the uh financial part of it and i'll explain for that for the emotional part of it if you have heard me say that i think i said so in one of my vlogs or one of my videos that i posted that at that at uh, by january i was already telling myself you know what I, let me even start going i was anxious not anxious i was happy to leave and not in a bad way i was just like you know what you guys are stressing me in this day because Lagos is funny Lagos is stressful i need to just go to abuja and if you know of course you know that abuja is not a new territory to me i have lived here for about four five years before i got married so i was like you know what lagos has never been my thing so god is taking me back to abuja and i'm happy i'm taking my bags and and then yeah i mean we just take it on from there and that was i was happy to, to go i mean it was a new job i've never had to uh you know work in this kind of setting before and so it was a new job it was a new territory i was ready to conquer i was i was happy to try new things and so that was the excitement for me so i was always telling my husband you know what you guys are really stressing me once my kids you know throw one tantrum i'm like okay i'm counting down i need to go and clear my head 
but I perhaps I was thinking short term, I was not thinking long term, and so yeah, that happened. And when I came to Abuja, it's been fun, work has been great, I've, I've had amazing support to settle in, yeah. So, beyond that, however, it's having to now balance two separate parts of our lives. I need to check on the kids every day, like, I need to check on the kids every day. So, I place a call through to uh, my mom, a video call because I need to see see things then we catch up on how our day has been and i do this every day weekdays weekend i have to constantly sometimes i don't have to call more than once but most times you know i catch up with them immediately after work and find out what how their day has been and then all of those good stuff but in recent times i have noticed that my kids are kind of withdrawn yeah so they're like okay you're not here with us so why do I have to speak with you every day? I get that a lot. They are, like I said, they are pretty young. So if my husband thinks it's just in my head. But you know, when, for instance, if I call them now and I have to speak with my son, and he just comes and like, hello mommy, and he he goes off. And I'm like, ah, but you should be more happy to talk to me. And he's like, hello, hi, bye. And I'm like, and it, it hits me especially on days when I miss them so much so I expect that when I call them they are all over me and you know we are gisting, we are laughing, we are catching up on all that has happened since we last spoke but the conversation is not, the energy I'm getting from them is not that is not matching mine alright guys so they've switched on the generator and it's going to be noisy I don't know, the light issue is crazy in Nigeria so I think I've been totally ruled out on this on their Maybe their school life, I'm going to call it. Sorry, my nieces are bad, so it might be the noise, the generator sound, and all of those things. So, for instance, now, if they, if the school needs an information, I mean, I know the administrator had told me that, oh, Ruby keeps saying in school that mommy is in Abuja, mommy is in Abuja. So, they are kind of aware that, okay, mommy is not always around, and they are used to that. So, most times, if they need information or if they need to ask questions, they just immediately just ask my husband and i'm like i am here hello guys i'm still there mom i'm here it's funny but it's not funny like a uh, daughter recently started making her hair right and on the day she had to go to the salon to make her hair it was my husband that took her there we had spoken about it and i was aware that she was going to the salon that day so i had given him you know insight on what she was going to do and all of the good stuff but somehow when they got to the salon the the stylist was proposing something different and so he he was touching base with me and saying i see what she was saying and i was saying oh tell her this at some point it was like you know, this is a ladies conversation you know what step in it's a lot to deal with to be honest i did not prepare for i was or i was not prepared for the uh, the i was just concerned about the operational part so i'm here to tell if there are any ones like me considering working from another city different from where their spouses or where their family resides be sure that you consider both the operational uh the both the operational part the financial part as well as psychological part to it right the emotional part to it let me speak quickly on the financial part for the financial part here so you know of course because we discussed all of these things we knew that uh there will be a lot of travel involved i can say that we have fewer situations whereby it is the wife or the mom that is in another location and that is the peculiar case my family you know is in etiquette has skyrocketed from 15 18 000 25 000, and now you can buy a one-way ticket for as much as 50 60 70 k right so it is such a crazy thing imagine that i have to travel once a month at least once a month and then i'm spending up to 100 150 000 on just that trip just can just imagine the financial implication on my horse or my husband's post so if you are considering this please bear in mind all of the many things i have mentioned it's a lot of consideration which i did not advise my mind to then i just thought you know let me be vulnerable for once let me let you know that it's not as rosy as it looks it's actually very difficult to stay away from family more so a very young family 
I have told you how old my kids are. My kids are pretty me too. I'm not talking about people that can make decisions on their own. They still need a lot of guardians. It's difficult, but it's doable. But then you have to consider all the pros and cons. You have to consider the costs. Consider the costs. Consider all. all you know ensure you put the operational parts into consideration that's equally really important so that nobody lacks you are sure that you know the kids are going to school when they should go to school they're not going to school looking looking scary or looking unkept and you know the home front is fine i'm also using this opportunity to say thank you a big thank you i know nobody even saw this video coming even my spouse or my my that's like my, my husband my mom did not even see cover I'm, I'm here to say a big thank you to my husband first and foremost for stepping up and to my mom seriously i wouldn't have been able to do this without you and it goes without saying like you are literally our backbone we thank you so much for all the love and support and to joy joy is our domestic assistant so thank you joy thank you for for all you do for the family you know my sister and her family that had been uh you know taking care of me in abuja ensuring that i'm fine thank you so much i yeah, it's doable but it's difficult and i'm just here to say please put all the cards on the table ensure that you're always communicating like i just thought let's let me chit chat i think i feel better having recorded this conversation no having recorded this chat with you guys yeah i feel much better because it was weighing me down to be honest with you and even though it looked like i was putting a good front on social media it was not as easy so thank you so much for watching if you have tips guidelines on how you've been able to survive this if this is what you are doing please let me know so thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all the support on this channel enjoy the rest of your day bye guys